Okay, next we're going to cut and remove this uh, passenger support area on the uh, bike right here. Now to do that we need to remove the uh, uh, exhaust bracket. So it's real simple, we just remove these four screws. We'll remove this one, this one, this one, and this one right here. And then uh, after you take that off, this bracket will come off and the, the exhaust pipe will just hang there. So go ahead and do that and then we'll show you how to cut that section off there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the uh, cutting brackets. These are really cool because it'll make it uh, real easy for you to cut the back of that section real accurately. So anyway, this is, this is for the bottom rails and then these two are for the top rails. And then you'll need to get a hacksaw. We may even furnish this in the kit. We'll have to see how things go. Uh, hey, we hate to furnish things for people and they're going to just throw them away if they have a saw already. And then this is just a cheap hacksaw. And the, the key here is it's got to be three or three quarter inches or less uh, the width here. If it's not then it won't fit in that frame rail. So like I say we may furnish that but anyway let's go ahead and cut the back of this off. Okay we bolted the bracket to the bottom of the uh, where the exhaust uh, bracket bolted on there and then we're going to go ahead and cut that right here. If you'll notice the arrow we're going to cut it right here. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, I've carefully cut almost through the tube there. Try to keep your saw about even with the edge of this. Just lay the saw blade on that as you cut. And don't, don't let it start cutting into that bracket. Just take it easy, make sure your light is good, and keep your saw blade just even with the, you know, laying right against that as you cut. And then make sure your, your saw uh, angle straight, straight uh, across the bike like that, not on a funny angle. So I've just about finished that. I'm going to go ahead and cut that the rest of the way through, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I cut the right side, and then this is the left side of the bike. Now you use the other edge, just like I've written on there, this, this edge here, so the bracket is reversible, and go ahead and cut that the same way, and then we're ready to cut the top. Okay, now go ahead and remove these two screws, and we're going to fasten this bracket to these screws right here. And then what I want you to do is I want you to push on that as you tighten these up. That'll keep that flat against the frame. And you don't need to tighten them much. Just snug them up a little bit. You don't want to strip them out. Okay, there again, I lay the blade on the edge of that steel right there. And then I've cut down. I'm just about finished. I'm going to put a little piece of cardboard in there so as I cut down, I won't accidentally cut into this plastic. Make sure your wires and stuff are out of the way, too, when you cut through there. And anyway, we'll continue on here. Okay, and there I've cut the whole thing off. This is all cut through. Uh, you'll notice I put a box here just so it'll uh, keep this from falling down when you cut it. You may have your wife or your girlfriend or, or both of them hold that for you. And then uh, uh, we'll just continue on here. And there you have it. We've cut that off. So go ahead and remove your brackets and then we'll, we'll show you how to finish this back end up. Okay, we give you this file in your uh, kit there. Uh, do me a favor and put some tape around the end here. If you, unless you have a file handle, uh, that's an awful sharp point, and I don't want to see anybody get their eye poked with that or something. So put some tape around that, and then go ahead and just put the file inside the tube, and let's let's kind of file the inside of these inside of this tube and get rid of all these sharp edges, and then go ahead and file the outside too. Do the outside and the inside. Because we want to get that nice and clean because we're going to epoxy some pieces in there. And if there's too sharp an edge, it'll just rub the epoxy off there. So go ahead and file those edges and then we'll uh, continue on here. Okay, the last thing I want you to do is go ahead and just uh, wrap a rag or a paper towel or something around the file and, and that file and uh, tape it on there. And then put some solvent on the end there. You can either use solvent or uh, maybe if you don't have any of that, use your wife's uh, fingernail polish remover. Just something. And let's go ahead and clean the inside of the tubes out because we're going to epoxy some uh, the pieces in there. And we want to make sure the inside of the tube is nice and clean. So go ahead and do that and then we're ready to uh, go on the next step.